Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the acting class series on the YouTube channel, The Film Dudes. My name is Eric Temke, and today guys, we kind of have a unique episode. This is for teachers. This is an activity that you can bring into the classroom, and if you're a student watching this, you can take this video and you can bring it to your teacher, and you guys can test out this game. And so guys, today we're gonna be talking about the imagination game. Now this game is known as the imagination game and it's an activity that we use when we come into the schools and we work with the students and we work with the teachers. It's a great game for creativity, a great way to burn some energy and calories maybe after lunch or early in the morning. It's a great activity just to get the mind going and to get the excitement level up and this works for all ages. You know, as you get older, and I'd probably say this happens more with our like seventh grade and up, they tend to have more of like a stigma, like I'm too cool, like I'm not gonna do it. But it's so important because even us as adults, as we get older, we gain more responsibility and sometimes that element of creativity may slip away. And like I stated in the first video, the importance of becoming a character and becoming something different is because then you earn a different perspective. And it's not until you just take yourself completely out of your shoes and you put yourself in somebody else's shoes that you really gain a perspective on who you are. So some of the tools that you're gonna need for the imagination game, you're gonna need a gymnasium or an open space. That's number one on the list. You just need it. You don't want anyone to get hurt. So number two, you need to understand some film terms. The three film terms you need to know, we have action, we have cut, and we have hold for audio. Now, the three film terms, very simple. Action means start or begin or go. Cut means to end, to be done, to be finished. And hold for audio, if you've ever played a tag in gym before, it means freeze. Okay, hold for audio, hold in your position, get ready for the take. Get ready for action. When he says action, you go. So number three, we need to understand the game. What is the game? What are they gonna be doing? So guys, there's two ways to do the imagination game. You can do it as a big group, or you can do it in two separate groups and they can verse each other. Okay, group one, group two, they battle. Group two comes up with a story for group one. Group one comes up with group two. The kids love the verses kind of thing. It kind of creates a competition and kids love it. So the general play of the game is very easy. You need to pick a subject first. It could be anything. It could be a princess, it could be a dog, it could be a monkey, okay? And that's what every student in the class is going to be. They're gonna be that character. The next thing you gotta understand is you need to pick the location. Is it gonna be a park? Is it gonna be a spaceship? Is it gonna be, what? what's the setting gonna be? So they can really start to visualize and use their movements, okay? Then you gotta add action to the scene. So you have the subject, you have the setting. Now what happens? Is a dog gonna chase the princess to the park? Is an asteroid gonna come and smash the spaceship? So guys, that's the imagination game. If you wanna make it more difficult and add another layer to it, you can add dialogue or maybe add main characters in your story, depending on how detailed you wanna get with it. You can expand on this too if you really want to. You can have the kids develop independent scenes. You can have them write them down. You can really, really expand on it. And we'll probably touch on that in a later episode or in our course that we're about to release. So guys, thank you so much for watching the Acting Class Series on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe to our page. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you later.